Hey guys, this is going to be a review of season two, episode three of Rain Coronation. When the episode starts, Catherine is throwing like a really elaborate party for Francis's coronation and Mary's really upset about it because everyone's starving. And I really, really liked that and found that really amusing because my immediate thought was the French Revolution and that's like what I kept thinking through the, throughout the entire thing. Um, and I'm not the only one who thought that because I saw someone else say something about it after the episode, but that's definitely what I was thinking throughout a good portion of the episode and Catherine seems so confident, like, we have to spend all of this money on all this elaborate stuff to keep the nobles, like, confidence or whatever, and Mary's all upset because people are starving, and I just kept thinking about the French Revolution and all of that, especially when the guy, like, they chased after the guy who was stealing food and then like they caught him and he was just trying to feed his family and all of that. I really liked that that was a thing in the episode and that, that was something that was being talked about. Like just the difference between the royals and the nobles who have food and then everyone else starving because you can't really like and that's become such a big deal because they're trying to get the grain even though you can't really like see the people starving in the show because it's so focused on the castle and they're obviously doing fine. This episode also brought in Germany who is Protestant and so you have the um kind of what's the word tension between the Protestants and the Catholics which is interesting. Um religion played a big deal last season but it was Catholicism versus paganism. Um, and I'm really excited about the whole Protestant Catholic stuff because obviously this was around the time of the Protestant Reformation and like the um, rep repercussions or whatever of that. And so I'm finding it really interesting seeing that and seeing that. I think we got a bit of that last episode too when um, Condi, I think is his name, um, was talking, they were accusing him of not being loyal or whatever. Um, but I thought that that was interesting and I think this might be the first time we've seen Germany probably because of that conflict but um I thought it, it's interesting that they're bringing that in and I'm wondering if that's going to continue on throughout the season or not and a lot of this episode not a lot of it but Sebastian's like main storyline in this this episode and Kenna's as well was um, Sebastian kind of like carrying out his deputy duties and investing in the one guy and I think it's so funny because I keep laughing because I follow a lot of the ring cast on Twitter and Torrance Combs who plays Sebastian was tweeting about how big the desk was and how big the book he was carrying and like how giant all the props were and I thought that was hilarious. I probably never would have even noticed if he hadn't been tweeting about it but I thought that, that was hilarious and I also really really love Ken and Sebastian. I love when they're in episodes. I just love them a lot. So I was really excited about every scene that they were in. And then we have the Condé guy kind of betraying Mary and Francis. I don't know if betraying is the right word but I said when he first showed up that I wanted to like him but I wasn't didn't know if I should because people on the show tend to be pretty bad. I I'm a bit torn on him. He didn't do anything incredibly bad and like he had good intentions. Um, I do like that, like I like the sense of grayness about it, but um, I do mostly feel bad for him I think and like I don't know if I like him yet or not still and I'm not sure how much longer he's going to be in the show. Like I don't know if he's going to stick around or what but um, I kind of saw something coming with him so I wasn't too surprised when he was the one who had freed or free to move to the prisoners um, but because I was kind of expecting something weird about him just because that's usually what happened. He also makes some comments about the bond between mothers and children when he's talking about his lover and I'm pretty sure that was supposed to be some foreshadowing of drama with Lola and the baby and Mary and Francis and I'm just at this point just really waiting for that to happen because it's definitely going to like something really big is gonna happen with that and I'm just kind of waiting for it to happen. We also have a really weird scene with Francis talking to the psychic lady and getting his dad's spirit 
willing to come and talk to him through the servant lady and I'm still that storyline's just really weird. I'm not really sure where they're going with that or like I still don't know if the servant lady is supposed to just be crazy or if we're supposed to believe that that's really Henry's ghost. I don't know what they have planned with that. I am just kind of confused at this point. I don't know if that's going to become a big deal or just like a minor storyline. It's just kind of weird right now. And then we have the coronation scene and they posted pictures of the coronation on Twitter before the episode aired and they were such pretty pictures that I was really really looking forward to that scene and I really did enjoy that scene and I really loved- Frances had a line in this episode about um when they're accusing Mary of speaking for him or whatever and he says something like she's my queen she speaks about she speaks for me in most things and I loved that line and I loved his line right before the coronation where he was talking about they're stronger when they're united it was really sweet and I really loved the whole coronation scene I thought that it was really nicely done and kind of like pretty looking and just like a nice scene I really liked Francis's face when he got like during the coronation because obviously that's a very momentous moment and probably very emotional but I really liked how that scene was done and then afterwards when they're having like the party and everything and Narcisse um, confronts Catherine outside and she's just sitting by herself and he asks her why she's not at the party or she asks him why he's not at the party um, for the new king or whatever and Narcissus responds and queen and Catherine's like her too. I just- lines like that are pretty much the epitome of why Catherine is my favorite. I love that and I love that scene and the discussion about her and not having necessarily power anymore because she's not queen anymore she's just the queen mother and I really liked that scene. And I think the last thing I have to say is about the preview for next episode so if you consider that a spoiler you've been warned although I mean they aired it like right after the episode but in the preview for next week Mary is telling someone it's probably Francis but I don't think you could tell in the preview for sure but she's telling them that she's pregnant and I just see terrible terrible things happening. Part of that is because of what I know historically but like just from a story standpoint I do not see that working out well. Um, I can't decide exactly what I think is going to happen. I kind of wonder if she's going to have a miscarriage or a stillbirth or um, maybe like one weird thought that entered my head that I could maybe see them doing is that she's not actually pregnant like she wants to be pregnant so badly maybe she thinks she's pregnant and then she finds out she's not really um, which would be like a quicker storyline I guess whereas a miscarriage and whatnot would probably carry on longer but I just see something like that happening if something like that doesn't happen then it's definitely going to kind of exacerbate the conflict with Lola and the other kid I think um, especially since they're giving the other baby Francis's name and then if Mary is pregnant I just foresee conflict there so it should be interesting I definitely think I know we're going to get conflict with Lola and Mary and all of that and I'm just kind of waiting for it to happen like I think I already said that but I think that's just going to speed things along and lead to that because I'm pretty sure that's going to become like a big, big deal this season. So yeah, I think that's all. So I will see you guys later. Bye.